Our next bout will be contested for the Superior FC Welterweight Championship. Please welcome to the blue corner, Poland's Rafael Avon. And his opponent, Germany's Roberto Soldich. The following bout is scheduled for five five-minute rounds for the vacant Superior FC Welterweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he represents Berserker's team, Kolob Jazz. He stands 172 centimeters and weighed in at 76.8 kilograms. His record, 13 victories, apples at five defeats, Fighting out of Poland, Rafa Levon. Bon. 
His opponent fights out of the red corner. He represents UFD Gym. He stands 175 centimeters. His official weight, 77 kilograms. His professional record, eight victories. Opposite two defeats, fighting out of Germany, Roberto Soldi. Your referee, Marco Brewerson. Championship out, five rounds, five minutes. You both know the rules. Listen to my command. Protect yourself all times. Make it a good match. Shake hands. Step back to your corner. This bout is scheduled for five time, five, five minute rounds, but I doubt it that it will go over the distance. Nearly 150 kilograms of muscle packed inside this octagon. And the fighters can't wait to get it on. Quick touch of gloves. Roberto is standing southpaw, which opens up the single leg for Rafa, but not the double leg, which is important to note. Oh, the first kick to the body. Rafa is a little bit stiff. I know that he wanted to work on, work on his head movement, the kick to the leg from him. Wow. Oh, and he already got hit hard. But it's difficult to knock him out. He's always got his chin tucked. Yeah. By now, so many guys try to outstrike him. When he learned one thing out of it is keep your uh, chin tucked and your hands up. Oh, Roberto needs to take care that Rafael can't pin him against the cage. What I like for Roberto is that he's keeping the distance. He's moving backwards, but he's not running away. He's yeah. also striking nice at high kick. Oh, wow. That hurt Rafa. That was a really nice high kick. But, oh, but oh, Rafa's got a hold of him. Yeah, got that's hold of him. the big, big problem. And a big throw, and he took him already down. And now oh, he's Rafa in deep, deep grabbing water. Over the fence, and Rafa's got him down. And this could be oh, trouble. Oh, my God. Hard ground and pound. And he needs to take care. He will get, if he gets something, he will take you down. And... Rafa just muscling Roberto to the ground. And, and he's Roberto getting the head again, and he is in his furious, in his dangerous. Roberto isn't used to being muscled and bullied around. Oh my god, he will try here his, uh, his insane guillotine again. It looks like he's trying to lift him up or so. Yeah, getting probably instructions. Trying to get him away from the cage. Not letting him stand uh, he's, up. He's, he's, yeah, he, he's trying to like a kind of like a wrestler spin, trying to spin behind him. Yeah. And this was what his Roberto was trying to avoid, and he slipped. Roberto is breathing and staying calm. I like that about him. He's a ten second. Uh, no, it wasn't. Okay, he's getting his leg. Oof. Roberto has his hands, but it's dangerous. Another take down from Rafa. But Roberto's getting up, and this might make Rafa tired over time. Always trying to take him down. <laughs> Putting the arm in for the switch here. A little bit difficult to switch here the position with Rafa. Pushing his leg away. Rafa is trying to secure the position to, to strike or to put some damage on Roberto. Both guys exerting a lot of energy. One trying to take the other down, the other one trying to get back up. Rafa's head is is wrapped. Yeah, but as we both know, to guillotine Rafa, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's kind of impossible. Yeah, it's nearly impossible. He slips his head out. And nice job from Roberto. Roberto's doing good, but he he tried to he needs to to put some distance between their both. Yeah, as soon as he had a, uh, a bit of distance, he should have gone back to the cage, back to strike. Instead, he went yeah. back to wrestle with Rafael, which, of course, as we know, is a huge mistake. Hey, he's doing a good job. Wow, I'm really surprised by Roberto's nice defensive wrestling. The body. This is very good. You see Rafa taking one big breath there. Here, nice kick. Yeah. <laughs> Both guys ex Rafa exchanging try kicks. Rafa tried to end him with another kick to the leg. It costs Rafa a lot of energy. Roberto's yeah, but it also costs Roberto a lot of energy. Not trying to, not getting taken down, trying to get back up. 
Both yeah. guys trying to trying to catch a breath here. Just trying. Yeah, the up kick. He's a nice up kick here and swinging big. Rafa again. The high kick. I think he should take care of his high kicks. It's easy to take it down when when you're high kicking a lot. Oh! oh and <laughs> stunned him again. Stunned him yeah. again. But as you can see, Rafa, he's like he's like a zombie. He gets hit with high kick <laughs> after high kick, yeah, and he just his head go up down. and keeps moving forward. And again, it's getting a bit predictable now. He should switch. Yeah, to maybe I think so throw too. a few hands, and then go back to the high kick. I'm like missing here the the jab from Roberto. Uh, nice. <laughs> Rafa wobbling again, wobbling but not again. going down, tucking his head and and trying to move forward. 20 seconds left in the oh. round, and another high kick connects, and another oh, one. Connects. I think he's cut. His eye looks a little bit swollen from Rafa. Under his left eye, there, there's some marks. Roberto now trying to go for the kill, but staying calm, which I like. Yeah, I really like this. He did a fine job here. Wow, difficult round for for who on one is wrong. What what are you thinking? It's very hard to tell because Roberto definitely did more damage, but Rafa controlled Roberto more on the ground and got the takedowns. Uh, it's kind of like, what do you judge more? Do you base it on damage, who is close to finishing the fight, or who controlled the other one more, who pressed the other one back? It's kind of hard, and that's why it never even in the hands of the judges, and both guys will definitely try to finish it, and they've also got four more rounds to go. Yeah. Rafa's eye already looks a little bit swollen. Here the doctor is taking care of his eye, putting some Vaseline and Adrenaline mixture under it to stop the bleeding. Yeah, Roberto landed a beautiful right hook and a, and a, a left straight, which both wobble and rough out. Yeah, really, really nice high kick. Mike Prison checking if the both athletes have their mouth guard in. Who's breathing heavier? Who's more tired from the last round? Touch hands here. You see, even when they were touching hands, Roberto was trying to keep the distance, yeah. not getting too close. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good I idea from him to definitely, try definitely. maintain the distance here. And another left hand connect. Oh! And left hand kick. High kick again. Is definitely oh, that, oh, was, that, a that was a kick, kick, to, a down kick to a down opponent. And he got down from Mark Brosen here. Rafa is saving himself in the clinch here with the leg. And it's he absolutely incredible, leg. incredible that he's not. Yeah, man. That he's still standing. He's still, still standing. going for the takedown. And I mean that that high kick was really on point. Yeah, he was hit clean a few times with the with the head kick. Now, okay, he he's hesitating to give Rafa some knees because he's afraid that Rafa will catch catch and hold on of the leg. Rafa is walking in like a zombie. Roberto is trying to move out. He needs to cut the angles. I, it's really important. Kind of a strange left hand. He doesn't throw it straight. He fro kind of throws it like a slap. And he's, I think he's just trying to set up his left hand kick with his left hand. Look at Rafa. Just walking forward. Yeah. Catching kick oh, and punch and the punch. And he's on really rocky legs. But he's still not going down. I like this angle that Roberto is cutting all the time. I would like more the right straight. Yeah, it's a bit oh, predictable. It looked like a big slap to, yeah, to the see, head of Rafa. He's trying to throw the left hand it's like, like a, a slap strike. Oh, Rafa comes out swinging. Roberto maintaining the distance. Oh, let's see. Not sure what that was about. Oh, and the high kick and the slap. It's really a slap. It's like yeah. you say. I don't know, maybe he hurt his left hand because he's, he's kind of throwing it in a strange way. Yeah. It's yeah. He's not throwing it with the knuckles, he might have hit yeah. his left hand. Looks like like he's like throwing a ball or something. Yeah, I think so too. It, it can be that he hurt his hand, followed by a right high kick again. A hit the jab. Where's the jab? I, w I miss you the right. Hey. And wow. that, that was what I wanted to see, a left body kick. He's just throwing left high kicks now, but he should also switch it up, go to the legs, go to the body, and then go back to the head. Mm. Because 
maybe it's a better idea to try to hurt Rafael to the body with a kick instead of to the head because as you yeah. can see it's impossible to knock him yeah. out but he's afraid that Rafa catches the leg so that's why he don't kick the uh, the body or the leg it's harder to catch the head uh, Rafa should step in in a high kick he and Roberto should, should maybe try to use front kicks in, uh, to the body in, instead of round nose kicks because they are a lot harder to catch Okay, I like the distance management. Roberto is doing a perfect job. A big, big shot from Rafa. He's in, already standing. He's not afraid. Roberto has his arms around his neck. And this is a mistake from Roberto. He's not, he shouldn't lock the head of Rafa. He should try to push it away. Hey. And he gets taken down just for a moment. Already behind him again. Roberto needs to. Oh, 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 oh. He can't. He can't get put on his back. He will have big troubles when he's on his back. Rafa is Roberto right back up and again going for the guillotine grip. No, no, Instead no. of pushing his head yeah, away, he needs to fight for the underhooks here and lift Rafa up. I think both guys are tired because Rafa was definitely rocked a lot in the second round. Yeah. And Roberto's got a very explosive style. I'm not sure if that style is able to, if you're able to maintain that style for like five rounds. Because he's yeah. always trying to explode, always exploding, exploding, exploding. Yeah. And yeah. that takes a lot of energy. Yeah. Oh, nice again. And slaps to the face. Followed <laughs> with high kicks. <laughs> oh yeah, my god. I'm not sure why he's doing that. It, it really might be due to an injury. Also not throwing his right hand at all, not using jabs. Yeah. Not that he's injured both of his hands. Yeah, but he's having good success. The high kick the is kicks. not really predictable. I mean it rocked him at least two times in this fight. And Rafa really bloodied up now. Yeah, swinging big Roberto. <laughs> Again, trying to slap him though, not trying to punch him. And, and Rafa is loading his punches. Is almost that, was a nice, that was a nice kick to the body. That might have hurt. Yeah, yeah, right to the sure, body. Rafa seems to be hurt to the body because he was moving backwards. And no. his hands are down now. Now is the time for a high kick. Now is the time for a high kick. Prepare it good. Nice oh, second round. That was what I was talking about. Roberto with the left body kick, which definitely hurt Rafa. But it was too late to put a finishing touch on it. Who won this round? I probably say Roberto. I think I, it was, it was very, very Roberto dominant too. in the stand-up department. And Rafael didn't really do anything. Once he took him down, Roberto got right back up. So, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe 1-1 one, one now? Let's go with 1-1. One, one. Now the big question is who has more gas in his tank? Who can go longer? Who can hold the technical advantage? Rafael definitely bloodied up and damaged more, but I, I still wonder why Roberto isn't really throwing a proper straight punch and just slapping away. It's working. He's for sure not doing so much damage like a straight straight hand. He survived until now. He he's doing a really really good a really good job. And third round, the chance. <laughs> Rafa is like walking. He's really like walking like a zombie. <laughs> and swinging big left hand. It's the distance management, which is a really big key in this fight here. Uh, there was the right hand again. Again, same story as always. Rafa just walking forward like a zombie, stalking forward. Roberto using footwork, using movement, using his left kick, using his left slap. Yeah. And the impact all the time from the high kick on Rafa's right arm will, will, like, will damage that arm also. That arm is basically just a shield to block the side of the head. He's swinging just big with the left hand. And a corner from Roberto says, move, move, move. Yeah, but I think Roberto needs to get Rafael to back up a little bit because Roberto is constantly moving backwards and that's taking a lot of energy. I think he also needs to get Rafael to back up like he did in the second round with the left high kick. 
Yeah. And it doesn't seem to be that much power on his strikes anymore. I think that's yeah. what I, I was saying. He's a very explosive, but for how long? It's the third yeah. round, and I think he's slowing down already. I think they walked already <laughs> at least th two or three miles here when it will continue. Making circle after circle here. Now he's cutting the angle. Nice. And oh. again, nice. Oh, oh, and nice my left God. Hand. Now, now he needs to finish, but the slaps won't finish him. He yeah, needs definitely really not start wrestling now, Rafael. Distance, distance, distance. Oh my God. Oh, now Rafael is on very shaky legs. Beautiful Look. right hand. Oh and a my left God. Hand. Now he needs to finish. Step in, step in, step in. And go for. And, and the fight is all wow. over. The referee stopped Rafael. Rafael is complaining. Rafael was definitely protected from the referee from taking too much damage. I think it was a very, very good decision by the referee. I because think Rafael so is too tough for his own good. Yeah, he was just eating the punches. It was doing harm to him and he's not understanding it. And sometimes it's really, it's the job from the referee to take care of the fighters. And definitely. I was for sure the right decision. Very impressive performance here from Roberto. Kept his composure and from the second round on, kept the distance, used his striking and was able to defeat Rafael Levon here for the welterweight title at Superior FC. Yeah. He had the right recipe here and a well-deserved victory. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Marco Brewerson halts this bout at 1 minute 55 seconds of the third round. Your winner by technical knockout. And now, Superior FC welterweight champion from the red corner, Roberto Sode. Sodic, Roberto, a very tough Polish opponent coming in here to Germany. It looked like you had him hurt a few different times in that fight, and you finally forced the stoppage from referee Marco Brewerson. Uh, yes, uh, that one is a very strong fighter. Uh, I, I have good preparation here in my gym, UFD gym, and uh, I don't have a fear for anyone here. And uh, when I'm ready, just tell me date and I come. 
Again, an extremely tough fight, and congratulations on the victory. You are now the Superior FC welterweight champion. It appears that you sustained some type of lower body injury. How was the leg? How was the foot? Uh, already, it's uh, painful because I, I have uh, to, I give uh, too much uh, punches in the head, and uh, many times he block. But when uh, second, second uh, high kick right in the head. It was uh, all, all over, it's all over. And uh, uh, this is my uh, fall belt. This is my fall belt in uh, six months. And uh, I want to say thank, uh, I want to say thanks my uh, UFD team, Ivan Diakovic, Shukru Aksu, Martin Zavada, uh, Bert Kops, uh, and the uh, MMA spirit who helped me also in my preparation. Alex Alves, Leuzada, Peregino, and uh, thanks, thanks the Deutsche Repa colleague Tony and uh, Farid Bang Bang for, for friend, friendship, for, uh, for support, and uh, thanks everybody. That's, that's, that's it. Congratulations once again. Get healed up. We hope to see you back here as soon as possible in the Superior FC cage. Ladies and gentlemen, your Superior FC welterweight champion, Roberto Soldich.